It's time for under 30. Let's bring in George Tillis, senior markets correspondent for the Schwab Network. Talk some Chewy. Um, a company, it's not on its uh, best run as of late, George. Stock right now down uh, quite significantly here intraday. As I key it in, 11.5% to the downside. Not lifetime lows, but dangerously close to them, George. Yeah, I think uh, you have to look at the the price action in Chewy. I mean, it is a trusted online, you know, pet uh, pet uh, merchant, but also, if you will, from an e-commerce standpoint, they offer services, things like pet insurance services. They're actually moving into uh, deployments of brokering other services like veterinary services with local uh, veterinarians and also grooming services. These are other things that uh, Chewy is actually partnering up with local uh, local uh, uh, places to uh, to do. But the challenge for the business itself, I think, is really broad-based competition. I think if you look at Chewy, it has got a brand. It has recognition. It has over 20 million active users. Its, uh, it's revenues per user is actually growing. And if you look at the uh, auto ship, this is the uh, effectively the percent of folks are actually now uh, doing an auto auto uh, renewal, if you will, on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis. That's about 75% of sales, which again gives you an idea of recurring revenue. But I think the challenge for Chewy is is really valuation still, uh, unfortunately. So if you look at the numbers overall, they actually beat the estimates quite a bit, uh, coming in at 15 cents versus the nine cent estimate. Now that was an increase relative to last year. Uh, but sales also grew and beat the estimates by about 14.4%. And as I mentioned, the renewal customer growth was actually higher by 18%. But the challenge, again, like I said, from a, from a valuation standpoint, is if you look at last quarter, which I did, the earnings per share estimates were around $0.48 cents, uh, for, the, uh, for the fiscal four quarters on a forward basis. Now, after this most recent quarter, the numbers have been adjusted to $0.53. Cents. But the last quarter... The stock was trading around a 62 times uh, forward multiple. It's down now with price, which is down about uh, 30, 35% over last year, to a 51 times multiple. And so when you see decelerating sales growth, which again, on a forward basis, compared to the quarter at 14.3%, they're expecting about 13% sales growth on a forward basis. And I, and I think that valuation, despite EBITDA margins coming in higher than estimates, as well as gross margins for the quarter, uh, are just insufficient. To, uh, to match the uh, the high multiple and therefore, you know, despite the, the highly recognized name, the brand uh, that, that is trusted by pet owners, uh, just because you see it or if in fact you use it doesn't necessarily mean that the stock is, is worth what uh, effectively the market says it's worth right now. George, you know, uh, Alex here mentioned uh, the, the declines we've seen, disappointing price activity so far this year. The stock's been down below the 50-day moving average since the middle of July. It's been yep. below the 200-day moving average uh, since around that time as well. Um, you know, I, I look at uh, a story like this, and I'm wondering again, um, what does it take for them to turn it around ultimately? What does it take for them to kind of regain that composure and get back into, um, yeah. you know, a better position here? So a couple things I thought about this. If you just consider their business, they can improve the scalability. In other words, increase sales per customer by adding additional services. I think that's one way Chewy can effectively grow its way back into better profitability profile. Let's put it that way. I think at the end of the day also, you have to consider if that's feasible, whether or not, again, the valuation multiple is justified. And I think if you just look at the Moving averages, you mentioned, below the 50, below mm -hmm. the 200, those are basically downtrending moving averages. And so I think right now, based on the trend, it's uh, it's very powerful. If the trend is down, don't fight it. And I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, Chewy effectively, you know, is facing a lot of competition. Uh, they need effect, uh, they need some scalability in operations. If they partner up, let's say, with companies like Amazon, a Walmart, for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. that might actually be a good thing to, again, pair up the, the, uh, the middle ground, if you will, the warehousing, merchandising, and so forth with a, with a very scalable business like Amazon or Walmart. You know, George, what my real big takeaway from this is, is that context matters as well. We look at this on the surface, you see a stock that's down nearly 12%. Uh, it's, uh, it's a brutal reaction, but it's down $3.24. The market maker move yesterday was almost four bucks. So we had looked at on Monday selling an iron condor, which is not a strategy you would think that would have done well uh, in a stock that's down 11, almost 12%.
But I just checked this, this thing would have been up 50 cents even though the, the strike's been tested because implied volatility is so, so juiced into some of these earnings. Expectations uh, oftentimes really settle the score. And this is one that was expected to move a lot. So when you put that context in, I don't think the move, while it's disappointing, is as bad as it looks on the surface. But George, we'll leave it there. Appreciate it as always. Uh, great okay. uh, uh, insights and have a great rest of your day.